so I'll start off by uh, talking about my art jewellery collection, which I just have under the name Holly Susanna Clifford. Um, so I set it up in 2016 from the shed, and it's very much botanically inspired. I'm kind of um, a little bit obsessed with greenhouses and glass houses and the way that they have a really sort of ethereal, otherworldly feeling when you go inside them. And there's all these plants from different countries that just shouldn't be in, you know, in the north of Scotland or whatever. I mean, Glasgow, um, it's not the north of Scotland, but Glasgow um, Botanic Gardens have an incredible glass house. Um, so that kind of feeling, um, obviously a whole different temperature in there. Um, the windows are all kind of fogged up so you can't quite see through and then from the outside all the plant life is kind of pressed up against the glass, a little bit abstracted, you know, it's a bit foggy in places, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I like that juxtaposition between the framework of the um, glass house and the organic plant life inside, so that's kind of my starting point. Um, but my work has developed on a little bit from there, um, it's become a bit more abstracted I've looked at um, a few more fine artists, really, to get some inspiration from, like Monet and Klimt, and um, not remembering any from the top of my head right now, but <laughs> kind of looking more at brush strokes and mark making and colour, and um, focusing sort of in on those, and that adds actually a lot of movement to the pieces as well, and often it's kind of um, accidental as well. I'll paint like larger pieces of um, resin and then trim it down into little pieces and that really sort of like helps you to focus in on bits that you wouldn't notice if it was a hole really. Here we are. So there's two layers of paintwork in this, it's double sided as well. You wouldn't really notice that one brush mark on its own but when it's sort of framed in silver and you know snipped out as it were it really um, draws attention to and it's beautiful. Got something that's completely different colour. So <laughs> to start off with, uh, my work was mainly sort of greens and blues and turquoises because of obviously that greenhouse feel. Um, but I have started introducing lots more colours. It's just that my, my real love is those blues and greens and, and everything. So, so I use an eco resin to encase the paintwork inside. Um, it's, it's called a super sap resin from a company in Cumbria, I believe they're the only company that um, produce an eco resin in the UK. So it's made from the byproducts of other chemical processes, so it's, it's you know, partially recycled, it has a much smaller carbon footprint. I'm very conscious about the materials that I use having, you know, a negative impact on the environment and trying to, just trying to reduce my impact as much as possible. So by layering up the paintings inside the resin, that's how you get that sense of depth in the pieces as well, which really um, makes them a little bit different. Um, and uh, you can have the kind of stained glass window effect as well, where light is coming through, um, which is really gorgeous. And they change colour depending on what um, you're wearing them on as well, whether it's skin or on black or white or whatever clothing, sometimes it comes through, which is um, really nice. So it's ever changing. Um, but it's very lightweight as well. I mean, some quite, I make some quite statement earrings. Uh, like this pair, for example, bold and chunky, which I guess they are to a certain extent, but they're not heavy at all because essentially resin is a type of plastic, so it's lovely and lightweight. So you can create some really statement pieces and look, but they're so wearable. And then that silver around the edge and to create the stud at the top, I call it a kind of constellation stud. So it's been oxidised, which is blackened, and then um, sort of texture added to it and drilled away to reveal the silver underneath, which is a really lovely effect. So here's um, one of my statement pieces um, that really shows the layers quite well. So each of these pieces has about five different layers of painting inside. Some pieces have um, bits of silver leaf in there as well, which you can see here, if I can focus on that. <laughs> Try and move around it slowly so you can get a good look, but again, this looks like it would be so hefty and uncomfortable to wear, but it really is so lightweight. So each one of these is um, initially made in a mould, and I paint them upside down as well. 
um, <laughs> which is always exciting to come to uh, demolding. And then they are sanded into shape so they all fit nicely together. You go through all the grades of sandpaper that's um, from about 80 um, if you really need to cut down areas up to about 3000 grit. And then two different types of polish used to get them back up to a really nice high shine. So it's a lot of work that goes into creating one of these pieces and then you've got a silver clasp at the top there. You see it is quite a statement number, but feels amazing to wear, obviously really draws the eye. And each one is like its own little, let's focus that, own little uh, universe really, own little world in there. Some people think they look quite um, rock pool-esque, a little bit of a seascape going on and I get that, which I love that idea as well. Let's switch that one around, there we go. <laughs> and each of these necklaces I make it is um, totally unique. There we are, you can see the light shining through a little bit better on this um, singular piece. So I do do them as individuals sometimes as well, so this is still quite a, a statement one. But I love the angles on there, it's really gorgeous. It's, a little bit geometric, got a nice faceted surface, which kind of um, means the the paintwork gets refracted a little bit. You can see the double leaf look there, which is lovely. So again, the paintwork is a little bit different from every angle, 